Shut up and sit down. Hey friends, I'm Simon. I'm Ellie. And if you enjoy our videos, please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell thing. But you know what? Sometimes movies are even better if nobody enjoys them. Isn't is it true that movies can be so bad that they can actually become good? You know I think that, because <laughs> I love really, really awful movies, and I make you watch them with me over and over again. There you go. But I, I reckon there is one movie that is probably so bad it could never be good. This on Metacritic is the worst reviewed movie of all time. And I, I've never seen the trailer. I'm not even sure I knew the movie existed. Maybe it was that bad that people just scrubbed it from their memory. But you know what? I'm going to ask you to cover your eyes. And then I'm going to put this on and we're going to unleash upon ourselves the trailer for the worst movie ever made. Hang around. We'll be right back. Uh-oh. <laughs> No. Once upon a time, or was it more recently, there was a young boy named Dodger. Old Dodger. He was the sort of child who was always left out of things. <laughs> you can tell the time period just by the haircuts, Each day right? after yeah, school, yeah. Dodger works in a junk shop owned by the mysterious Captain Nancy. Which is broth than vampire's brew. Make these clothes as good as new. <laughs> Dodger has never had a family or a friend he could call his own. Here we go. Until now. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what it is yet? No. <laughs> Meet the Garbage Pail Kid. The Garbage Pail Kid. Yes. Windy Winston. Messy Tessie. Give him a chance, Tangerine. You'll like him. This is horrible. Ari Gator. <laughs> Valerie Bobbin. Lisa Gray. I'm going to fire for this. Foul Phil. Nice and it totes. Ew. The Garbage Pail Kids movie. They may not be pretty, but boy, they make great friends. Oh. Starring Anthony New and Mackenzie Astor. Horrifying. The Garbage Pail Kids movie. <laughs> So, now you've seen the trailer for literally the worst reviewed movie ever made, The Garbage Pail Kids. Now, I mean, do you remember the Cabbage Patch Kids? Because yeah. they were relatively popular, right? Good parents make Cabbage Patch Kids. The Cabbage Patch My Kids. Baby. Each doll is different, and you can pretend to adopt them. My baby has a real diaper. You can love and care for them, like your very own. And yeah. they were physical toys, obviously. They were kind of kind of cute they were also kind of horrible in their own right and there was a big phase of them and they were really hard to get yeah for a while and i think i had some of the collector's cards as well yeah that was around the time you used to be able to get those glow worms that you could mm. hug in bed and the tail would light up as well when people went crazy for really crappy toys <laughs> and the cabbage patch kids were those crappy toys of the year and like you said a part of it was like supply and demand and the more the supply seemed to dwindle the more the hype about them increased and everyone wanted one and yeah it kind of fed on its own hype people all over the country are clamoring for cabbage patch kids it's like a fever taking hold potential buyers are not above elbowing shouting and crying so they can walk away with their coveted prize but then the garbage pail kids with this weird spin-off collector card sticker type of a yeah, thing there were stickers i had loads of them the wonderful folks who brought us baseball cards tributes to the excellence of genuine heroes the idols of generations of young americans now bring us acne amy tommy gunn bad breath seth slain wayne and the rest of what are called the garbage pail kids 
Like, yeah, my dad actually worked in a news agent at the time, so he used to get just boxes and boxes of these, and no one really seemed to care, and he would just give me packs of them every you know, once in a while, and I'd have all these like swapsies to swap with friends in the school playground. But so many youngsters have become so obsessed that the cards have been banned by some school principals. But honestly, like the stickers to me, I kind of, I actually didn't like it very much because they just were so gross. Mm -hmm. And I know that was their whole deal, they were supposed to be gross, but it was a lot of mucus, and I'm not... Yeah, I'm not big on mucus. <laughs> yeah, not the biggest mucus fans here. So yeah, to me, Garbage Pail Kids didn't resonate. Obviously, to the audiences of the past, the Garbage Pail Kids movie didn't mm. resonate very much either. Yeah, I've never heard of this. No. It, yeah, so literally on Metacritic, I think it has a score of one. Wow. Unless people are going on there review bombing it right now to try to reduce it to a zero. But that is the lowest reviewed movie of all time. The Garbage Pail Kids movie. Was there anything redeeming in here that you think no. might, might salvage it from the Garbage Pail? No, they were no. horrifying. I, I, the only thing I was wondering is the star is Mackenzie Aston. I wonder if he's related to Sean Aston. Mm, could be. There's no way we could ever find out. No way of knowing. Except wait. Please remain on the line as we value your call. And we're back. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, I also didn't see a great deal in this. It, it reminded me of everything else from the 80s. I'm not yeah. sure that's necessarily a great thing. Well, not in costumes and masks were just awful. Yeah, the costumes were so bad. And I was going to say, it didn't remind me of the 80s in like a Stranger Things, pleasant nostalgia kind of a way. Mm. It reminded me of the 80s in the kind of, oh God, th some things really sucked in the 80s kind of a way. And I guess what sucked more than most other things was the Garbage Pail Kids movie. Yeah. So there you go, friends. This is the worst rated movie of all time, the Garbage Pail Kids. We are never going to watch it, and we hope you never do either. <laughs> we hope you keep watching us, though, and we'll see you very soon, friends, on the next Nerd Safari. Peace out, nerds. <laughs>